and welcome to the online library project. My name is Kristina Czerney and I'm an English language teacher at Public Institution Theoretical IC Moniz Forgibu Kishino. Today we shall have a roundup lesson of Unit 5. We are going to revise the vocabulary and the grammar. So let's begin. On page 94, exercise number one, you have two pictures. What can you see in these pictures? Do you recognize these places? In the first picture is the Kishinev railway station. It is the main railway station in the Republic of Moldova. It is located on the first Allegri street, not far from the city center. Did you know that in addition to local trains, there are also international services to Bucharest, Kiev, Moscow, Minsk, Warsaw, St. Petersburg, Odessa and Yash? There is a border control at the customs hall. In the second picture, you can see the Chisinau International Airport. Did you know that the first flight to Chisinau was in 1926 on the 24th of June? The main terminal was built in the 1970s with a capacity of 1.2 million passengers per year. Nowadays, the annual capacity of the airport has increased to 5.4 4 million people. The Chisinau International Airport has many partnerships with international airlines and there are tens of destinations you can go to from Chisinau. Now look at exercise number two. Here we have a vocabulary quiz. Look at the pictures. What are these? Look at the definitions. Try to express the definitions in one word. You have the suitcases and bags, a person who carries luggage, a place at a station where people can buy newspapers and magazines, a place where trains stop. Do you know the word for the first definition, the suitcases and bags? If you say that it is baggage, you are correct. How do we call a person who carries luggage? A porter. How do we call this place as a station where people can buy newspapers and magazines? It is a bookstore. And a place where trains stop? It is a station. A railway station. Next, a place where planes take off and land. A shop where medicines are sold. Letters and parcels one gets from the post office. Hmm, so what are the words for these definitions? So an airport is the place where planes take off and land. A shop where you can buy medicines is called a pharmacy. It can be called a drugstore or a chemist store. And the place where you get your letters and parcels from is called a post office. Now we are going to work with exercise number three, where we have to describe the location of these places and using uh, the words from the box. So, let us look at the picture, look it thoroughly, attentively. You have the prepositions behind, in front of, in the middle of, next to, on the corner of, opposite and over. Look and see, where is the post office? The post office is next to the bank. Where is the police station? The police station is opposite the chemist shop. Where is the fountain? The fountain is in the middle of the park. 
Where is the art gallery? The art gallery is in front of the parking lot but opposite the park. Where is the library? The library is behind the bank and the police station. Where is the hotel? The hotel is opposite the train station but next to the post office and the police station. Where is the theater? The theater is on the corner of the Adam Street. It is next to the art gallery and the parking lot. Where is the shopping center? The shopping center or the department store uh, is on the corner of the Center Street and Adam Street. It is opposite the library and the bank and the post office. Now, we're going to work with exercise number four. Let us look at the map again from exercise three. And we have here Mr. Riggs. Mr. Riggs is standing in front of the hotel and he wants to get, get to the theater. There are different ways of getting to the theater. Tell him how to get there. So you can pause this video for several seconds and look at the map and try to uh, tell him how to get there, to tell Mr. Riggs, and then we're going to check. Okay, so let us see what you have done. I have thought about the task and I would like to make a story about Mr. X. So Mr. X came to London yesterday. He arrived late from the airport. He didn't come by train. He took a taxi at the airport. He booked a nice room at the hotel. He went to bed as soon as he arrived at the hotel, but before going to his room, he asked the hotel manager to draw him a map of how to get from the hotel to the theater. So to get to the theater, he has to turn right and go straight ahead past the post office and then turn right again, go straight ahead and at the intersection of Center Street and Adam Street he has to turn left, cross the street and go past the department store and the art gallery. At the corner of the Adam Street he shall reach the theater. At the theater he is going to meet his best friend from school and they are going to spend a wonderful day together. Later Mr. Rix's friend is going to show him around. They are going to visit the fountain in the middle of the park. They will go to the art gallery and have some shopping at the department store. Mr. Rix is going to bring home a lot of nice souvenirs from London. So Mr. Rix was at the department store and there he witnessed some dialogues. Now look please at exercise number five. The dialogues are not um, arranged these lines and we have to arrange the lines and read them. So look a little bit through the lines and try to think of the correct order of the lines. Now let's check. Kathy says, look at these jeans, mom. Aren't they great? Mrs. Flynn. They are okay. Kathy. May I try them on? Mrs. Flynn. I don't think you need another pair of jeans. Your black jeans are quite new. Point B. Have some time to look for the task. Now let's check the answer. Ellen says, can I see that brown tie, please? Saleswoman, here you are. Ellen asks, how much is it? Saleswoman, it's not expensive, only 12 pounds. Ellen says, I'll take it. Could you wrap it for me, please? Okay, well done. 
Now, at the department store, Mr. X talked to a little girl while having lunch. She wanted to tell him a poem, but the words in each line were not in the proper order. So look for this exercise and try to put the words in each line in order and read the poem. Let's check. My mother keeps on telling me when she was in her teens, she wore quite different clothes from mine and hadn't heard of jeans. That t-shirts and dresses reach far above our knees. The next day, Mr. Ricks went to the airport. He booked a flight to go back home. At the airport, he saw Alex's mother and grandmother. They were talking to Alex on the phone, who was at the airport in Kishinev. Role play the situation as shown in the example in exercise 7. You can see the example. Alex on the phone. I am at the airport. Granny, what does he say? Mother, he says he is at the airport. Remember the rules of reported speech or indirect speech. Now let us try and report the first three sentences. It is raining. It is getting dark. I am standing near the baggage claim. So, if Granny asks, what does he say? Mother would answer. See, he says that it is raining and it is getting dark. He says he is standing near the baggage claim. If we work with sentences 4 to 7, my luggage is not here yet. I am worried. I am hungry. I am tired. If Granny asks, what does he say? Mother is going to report in the following way. He says that his luggage is not there yet and that he is worried. Alex says he is hungry and he is tired. If you do not remember how to form the reported speech, please go back to your book and look through the rules. Now we are going to play the game Odd Man Out from exercise 8. Look for the words and find the word that does not belong to the line. Bus, train, car, plane, piano. Platform, sleeper, flat, train, express. Check-in, take-off, fly, ski, land. Chemists, cross, dentists, shop, restaurant, walk, run, trip over, pond, go, envelope, address, bicycle, parcel, mail, consult, cook, prescribe, patient, treat. Now let us check what have you found as not proper to the line. In the first one, it is the piano. In the second one, it is the word flat. Number three, it is the word ski. Number four, it is cross. Next one, it is pond, bicycle and cook. If you do not know why these words are to be considered as odd, then you should also talk to your teacher and see why. Now it is reflection time. Try to make a similar poem. What do your parents keep on telling you about how things were when they were in their teens? Good luck!